you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 1st monday let's begin this new month with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 5 verses 1 to 20 they came to the other side of the sea to the country of jersons and when he had stepped out of the boat immediately a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him he lived among the tombs and no one could restrain him any more even with a chain for he had often been restrained with the shackles and the chains but the chains he wrenched apart and the shackles he broke in pieces and no one had the strength to subdue him night and day among the tombs and on the mountains he was always howling and bruising himself with the stones when he saw jesus from its distance he ran and bowed down before him and he shouted at the top of his voice what have you to do with me jesus son of the most high I adjure you by God do not torment me for he had said to him come out of the man you unclean spirit that Jesus asked him what is your name he replied my name is legion for we are many he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country now there on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding and the unclean spirits begged him send us into the swine let us enter them so he gave them permission and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine and the herd numbering about 2000 rushed down the steep bank into the sea and they drowned in the sea the swine herds ran off and told it in the city and in the country then people came to see what was that happened they came to jesus and saw the demonic sitting there clothed and in his right mind the very man who had heard the legion and they were afraid those who had seen what had happened to the demonic and to the swine reported it then they began to beg jesus to leave their neighborhood as he was getting into the boat the man who had been possessed by demons begged to him that he might be with him but jesus refused and said to him Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown you and he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him and everyone was amazed the gospel of the Lord praise you Lord Jesus Christ dear friends today we see mark at his best a yes, story full of drama and excitement compared the very bland verse in Matthew it takes place in the country of uh, Jerusalem which was uh, gentle territory there was a man who was possessed by several demons he was absolutely uncontrollable could smash through chains and lived in isolated places and outcasts and source of fear to people everywhere but when jesus appears it is the demons turn to fear they begged not to be sent out of that district they offer a deal they ask to be allowed to enter a herd of pigs the presence of pigs indicates this was gentle territory their request is granted once possessed the pigs 2000 of them went down a cliff into the lake and were drowned to the thinking of many today this seems like a terrible waste of good pics how could jesus do such a thing but we need to remember that this was written in jewish context where pics were regarded as unclean and to be avoided at all costs we remember how the prodigal son was condemned in his hunger to get a job tending pics and even to eating their food for a jew this was very low lowest any human would go in terms of humiliation and degradation so getting rid of these pigs was 
no big deal a case of good riddance a better place to put evil spirits could not be imagined on the other hand swineherds were naturally upset at uh, losing their means of uh, livelihood and went back to the towns and announced what had happened yes the man however asked to follow jesus jesus response is interesting here he said to the man go home to your people and tell them all that the lord in his mercy has done for you this was in fact any another kind of following and is a message each of us and can hear some of us think that following jesus means spending a lot of time with jesus in religious activities or joining the priesthood or religious life for most of us our calling and our following of jesus takes place right where we are it is there that we need to share with others our experience of knowing and being loved by jesus let's go home and tell others what jesus means in our lives i like the people in the gospel they may be amazed amen may god bless us